Hey guys, it's me Meteor. Hard to believe it's been over a year since Forgotten Land was released. Almost everything about that game was incredible. The finale being the absolute icing on the cake. However, playing through Neopets The Darkest Fairy again, to get back the save file I lost, I realized something. Elphilis is pretty much a better version of The Darkest Fairy. Allow me to explain. In the Neopets game, the Darkest Fairy is awakened after 1,000 years as a statue underwater, seemingly still conscious. Sure, that alone sounds like the origin of almost every fantasy villain in existence, but there's more. Her presence and aura alone can corrupt the minds of not just a few, but everyone in the towns affected, altering their line of thinking completely. Towns of, well, animals. That's pretty impressive, but Elfless, or I guess Fecto Forgo, was able to do the same thing and more in stasis. The whole reason she was turned to stone initially was because she also attempted to destroy an ancient city in the past everyone forgot about, one which we also accessed through a portal. And finally, her big moment in the end was attempting to crash Fairyland, a city in the sky, upon Meridel underneath, thereby destroying two kingdoms at once. Elphilus, on the other hand, takes that same idea many steps further by attempting to have two entire planets destroy each other. Yeah, beat that. Aside from capabilities, the two even look similar. Large staff, giant wings. I mean, sure, Elphilus wings are giant ears, but still, unfortunately, when it comes to the actual battle with the Darkest Fairy, it was easily the worst final boss I've ever faced in a video game, period. Difficulty aside, the other bosses in the game were honestly pretty cool. A Dark Knight, an Elemental Dragon Skeleton, a Literal Assassin, not this, but her? I don't get it. Everything built up to this moment in the game. Restoring Altador, awakening the four heroes, and finally heading down to Hero's Rest to awaken Giordana, who holds the key to defeat the Darkest Fairy once and for all. As for the setting of the final fight, it was perfect. Fairyland falling down with the time counting down until it lands, while you see the Darkest Fairy standing by the window awaiting your arrival. They literally couldn't have set the mood any better than they did. How in Neopia could they screw this up? First phase, deflect weak projectile, hit three times, repeat three times. Phase two, she floats up in the air, doesn't even fly, gets hit by a few rapid fire shots, gets dizzy, lands, giving you the opportunity to run up to her and end the battle. What? What? You have no idea how upset that ending made me. Still makes me. No large attacks, no shape shifting, no flight animation, literally nothing. I mean, I've seen terrible final bosses before, but they're at least preceded by a pretty cool fight. Not even the case here. In fact, there wasn't even another boss for all of Act 4. For years, even though I knew it would never happen, I wanted to see a remake of the game that updates that final battle because it just felt incomplete. Well, as of last year, I finally got that battle I wanted, that battle I dreamed of in Forgotten Land by means of Elphilis. The way they fly, the way they fight, the attacks they use, the presentation used in battle during this one phase alone is enough to fill that void I had, never mind the rest. I will say this, if they really wanted to add a phase where he had to stun the fairy long enough to loop Jordana's orb around her, hitting her with a huge giant truck would have been a much cooler way to do it. Seriously though, thank you Elphilis and thank you Hal for not just creating the battle of my dreams, but the game of my dreams as well, a little over one year ago today. I don't know what you have planned for us next, but one thing's for sure, I'll be there to see what comes from you guys next time.